What's up, Hair Color Community? It's your color mother. So today we have another transformation. As you can see to our left hand side, this is the poor picture. And to our left here, or in our full screenshot, this is the after. So let's talk about a few things in the video. You know how this goes, guys. So, um, my client loves to stay in a red hair family, so we decided to add lots of dimension in our hair. So let's first talk about the colors that I use. I, of course, use the Joyco Color Intensity. We use a total of three colors. We use their Fiery Coral. We also use um, a bit of Paul Mitchell Red. And I also use the Joyco Pink. When my client arrived to the salon, she had quite a bit of grow out. So the first goal was to um, take her hair color up just a little bit. So I did use the Swarsh Golf Lightener with their seven volume developer. Swarsh Golf, guys, that is so hard to, <laughs> it's so hard to pronounce. Um, my client did decide to leave a bit of her regrowth out. So um, I only took the lightener up maybe until I had about an inch or two left um, away from her base. Now, I use a bit of a chunky color blocking technique. There are different ways you can do color blocking. You can make it fine and detailed, you can make it chunky. So today, I decided to go with a chunky color blocking technique because she really wanted her colors to stand out. She really wanted it to be bold. One of the things that I really enjoy about the chunky color block placement is that it's very modern. And when you're working with tones that are very similar, for instance, um, we're working with reds, we're working with pinks, you know, or magentas, if you will, and we're working with this burnt orange. Those three tones are very close, you know? And so if you're not careful, these tones could really bleed into each other very easily, and you won't really be able to see the reflection of each color. So with the chunky color block placement, you can really see the reflection of different tones in her hair, even though the colors are very close in family. So um, the way I do my color placement when I'm doing the chunky color block technique, I make sure I do like a lasagna, right? I make sure to place the colors on top of each other as if I'm layering. And this has really given me um, control and it always creates such a beautiful result, all right? Um, when I am doing my color placement, I'm really just, you know, getting creative, you know? You're your artist when you do that. So there's no right or wrong way when it comes to placement. Um, I try to be a little strategic though, um, because when I use the Paul Mitchell red, that's a very dominant red. And when I'm using the Joyco pink, um, it created more of a magenta tone. So as you know, red and magenta are very close in family. So I wanted to make sure that I had at least a layer of that burnt orange in between those two colors, just so you can see the transition of colors thoroughly. Now since we're on the topic of chunky color blocking, um, you guys have also seen me do another type of color blocking on this channel where it is very fine. The detailing is uh, much more intricate and I'm taking smaller pieces of hair so it kind of creates um, this very subtle dimension, especially when you're working with many colors. I prefer to use more of the fine detailed color blocking technique. But again, if I'm using three strong colors, or if I'm working with colors that are similar in family, um, like I explained, I love to use um, my chunky color blocking technique. And uh, so yeah, that's what we did today. And as you guys can see, the colors flowed so well with her. My client is a redhead. She loves reds, but she was like, you know what, Janae? I wanna do something different. Let's add dimension. <laughs> 
So today guys, I am also working with a new flat iron. Um, this is the Baby Bliss Pro. This is their one and a half inch flat iron. And I really like this iron. Um, it gives a lot of soft, loose curls, which I feel is gorgeous. Now, it's been taking me a little while to get used to this particular flat iron um, because the temperature settings are a little different. So I have to get used to it. But overall, I am a fan of the Baby Bliss Pro line. I just believe if you use this line, you have to really educate yourself with this tool line um, because you want to make sure that you're not using too much heat on the hair. All right guys, so um, as with everything, we're gonna go ahead and finish this video out. These are the final results. So my client's red. I really didn't know what to call it guys. It kind of reminds me of a sunburst, a starburst, all of that jazz, but guys, put your comments below. What should we call this hair color creation?